Many of you have probably seen the previous video. We now have the Tumacan Shadow. I do not have very much else inside of my bank. The question is, what's next for this account? I think it's time that we set a new goal. And the goal, you might ask, isn't gonna be max cash this time. The new goal is to obtain all three of the Mega Rares. The Tumacan Shadow, which I already possess. The Scythe of Vitter and the Twisted Bow. All three of the combat style's most powerful weapons. The Trifecta of RuneScape's Endgame. Right now, we're running off the back of the membership left over from when we bought the Tumacan Shadow. We have six days of membership left, and it is adamant to my well-being that we get a bond in those six days, because I don't want to make a bond in free-to-play. We have 127,000 cash, and inside of the bank, we don't have very much of value in here, but we do have a couple things that we're able to do. One of the items that I wasn't able to sell in the finale were these Amulet of Glory 5s. So I think the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go charge these at the Fountain of Rune, get a bunch of glories that I'm able to sell, and increase the cash stack. No Eternals, but an inventory of sellable glories. And that is gonna get us a nice 246k, which means we now have 356k to work with. The thing with the Tumacan Shadow is that unlike the Twisted Bow and the Scythe of Vitter, it's very expensive to use with each attack costing over a thousand gold. The Twisted bow on its own, accompanied with 100k in gear and a few amethyst arrows, is pretty powerful. Not only is it powerful, but it's also relatively cheap to run, and there's a large array of content that you can jump straight into with that gear setup and start farming GP. And even the Scythe of Vitter, although slightly less versatile, in its uncharged form, still has some genuinely decent rebuild options such as the Dagonoff Kings or even Cerberus. But the Tumacan Shadow is a little more tricky, because it's not just good on its own, or good with just a few hundred K gear. It's expensive to use and to fully utilize its full potential, you need gear and money. Seeing how I already have pretty nice stats, rebuilding this time is gonna be a lot easier. And we're about to head out into the wilderness and hopefully we're gonna make some money. But first, let me tell you about today's video sponsor, BootDev. This isn't the first time that we've partnered with BootDev. In fact, it's been quite a few times now. And honestly, that makes me really happy because what they have to offer as a service, I think is fantastic. And I know that so many of you do too. BootDev is building the smartest way to master backend development by tackling the hardest problems first. One of which is boredom when it comes to e-learning, which is why the platform is designed to get you writing a ton of code and shipping projects as soon as possible. And what makes them so unique is how they do it by making it feel like an RPG game with XP gains, level ups, achievements, quests, and even global leaderboards. And they make the learning process as easy as possible with the built-in bear wizard that's trained on each lesson and is there to help you understand instead of just handing you the answer. And if that's not enough, you can even join their community discord where there are tons of friendly community members happy to help and share their expertise. So if you guys want to learn some truly awesome and valuable skills, then click my first link in the description and use code RAKESY to get 25% off of your first payment for your first month or year, dependent on the subscription. Well, that was a lot easier than what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> How much is this key worth? 400k. Alright, we've basically just uh, doubled the bank with that one kill. We now have a 377k cash stack. With the money, I am gonna buy myself some supplies. This guy is scold with an avarice. At minimum 800k. There's no way this account has the escape over here. Isn't that like 90 agility or something crazy? This must be a player. It is a player in a way. What's this guy doing? Wait. That's so painful. I haven't been in the wildy for months. I am trolling. Okay. We're going to have to go back again. I don't have enough money to pay the revenant entry fee. <laughs> oh no. In that case, I am going to have to elk my two staffs here. I am down horrendous from that death. 108k. I can't believe I died to that level 126. I didn't think I could get attacked by a level 126. That's why I was so nonchalantly just standing there. We don't have barrel gloves anymore. The room gloves gloves are now a thing oh my god come on he's out of food no i'm down to my last 15 entangles man oh that was so unlucky
Oh, he's completely out of food. That's... Oh, he was totally out. Oh, I may have found a broken bot here. He's not even going to use food. Oh, it's so free. We needed this. The rebuild is back on. This is going to be at least 200k. All right, we're back in business. I'm immediately going to go get myself some viral gloves right now because the rune gloves just aren't cutting it. I've just realized I have a crystal hellbird and I don't currently have a plus one. This guy is going to die. Please just kill him. Okay, finally. These kills are way more than I expected. 650k. These guys aren't even skulled either. This is just basic loot. Yes! Not only did I steal his dragon two handers, but we killed him as well. He did have a mule, so I don't know if this is going to be good or not. 500k. I am going to be buying myself the dragon crossbow, which is a massive upgrade. The DPS is going to go through the roof now. Come on. What? It is so tilting when that happens. He was completely out of food on a half TB. The DPS increase from the Dragon Crossbow is so nice. The time has come. Might not look like much, but this is quite a significant mage increase. That is all of the pages for the Zami book unlocked, and it only costed 46k. Full TB on level 97. That is a kill. There's no way. There's no fucking way. I almost just lost it all. 1.2 mil. He had 5,000 effort. What on earth is this guy doing? This guy has committed himself to death. Why are you running north, my guy? Okay, that's so nice. I think that was a player. That is the first Avernic bot that I have killed. That guy had a Webweaver and an Avernic, which means this should be at least a mil. 1.6 mil. That is a seriously good kill. The Avarice right now is 800k. Two kills in one inventory. The gear is making a huge difference right now. Come on. Oh, that's so nice. He had an Avarice. Another 1.6 mil. I've been fighting that guy for 10 minutes straight. Oh my goodness. Let's see how much money this guy had. 1.3 mil. All of this loot sold off. 11,000 revenant effort we've been able to PK here. We have 7 mil in cash. This has been such good money so far. I think I'm just going to continue and make some upgrades. The smoke battle staff and the tome of fire. The risk is going up substantially, but so is the DPS. We were risking about 700k. Now we're risking 3.3 mil. <laughs>
Ooh, Zora Adept. The timer has officially gone past the one hour mark. Let's take a look at how much money we made. I don't think it's going to be very much. We managed to make 2.5 mil in 26 kills. However, we used 1.1 mil in supplies. That means that in this hour of Zora, we profited 1 point three mil definitely not worth it for me to continue doing after the hour at zora it's time that we look at doing some alternative money makers i am rebuying the accursed scepter but this time we're going to be using it somewhere other than callisto the next money maker we are at saradoman i've never done this with a tomb and shadow and i've never done this with 45 defense so i am gonna have to be pretty flicking on point if i want to last here hitting really well i looked up the dps and the accuracy see with my gear on the Tumican Shadow is actually really good. It's 55%. And if I'm using Mystic Might, it goes up to 60. Our very first God War dungeon drop, the God Sword Shard 2. I just got a Rune Spear. I'm guessing that is very rare on the drop table. I have overstayed my welcome. 37 kills in that one trip. 23 kills per hour with this setup. I'm actually quite impressed. 50 kill count. And is that a hard task? Nice. First rare drop from the boss. It wasn't the ACB, sadly, but it is 173k. That's so bad. Crazy how cheap that is. All right, I gotta go try to get some of that food in the middle of the room here in a minute. Oof. It wasn't worth it. I've used 5.7 mil in supplies, 3.6 mil in charges from the shadow. The problem is that I've spent 5.7 mil and I've only made 2.5 mil from Sarah so far. This isn't very sustainable. And because I don't have any backup cash, we've hit a bit of a problem. We need to go and make some money real quick. We're going back out into the wilderness, boys. We need money. And these bots are probably the easiest way for me to get it right now. Come on. Be broken. Be broken. Oh my god. This is a broken bot that is not protecting from my um I'm gonna check the key on this one. Okay. Alright. Oh my god, there is no way. I just logged into that world. This guy doesn't protect his item. The bot is completely busted. Oh my goodness. These bots are nuts, man. I just logged in. He didn't eat. He didn't respond. I'm guessing just a broken bot. I need to look this guy's stats up. So if you guys are wondering if this was a bot or not, these were this guy's stats. Only ranked in a few things here. No KC in any bosses. We are done with doing the PKing now. I've PKed a decent chunk and this should be more than enough money for us to go back to doing Tower of Omen. We're on the struggle bus right now, boys. Oh man. 97 magic. That is the very first level of the rebuild. I'm going to be using the Tomb and Shadow so much. I'm sure we're going to get 99 soon as well. Oh my god. It's been so long since we've had our last drop. 213 KC. Oh my goodness. Another gold sword shard too. Oh! I just got a drop. Oh, that's the first unique we've had. 233 KC. It has been a ridiculously long time and I'm close to death. Bruh. And we got the root square shield. That's 250kc. We should technically be halfway now to getting the armadillo crossbow any day now. Oh, this is going to be a long grind. Oh, no. Oh! <gasps> Yes! 290 KC! Oh my god, I have never been happier to see a fucking drop in my life. 60 million GP. The Armino Crossbow. Let's go. It's actually not been too bad. I did 170 kills here yesterday with a shadow. It's just very expensive. Oh my god, I am chuffed to bits with that. 300 KC at Saradoman. The ACB has been sold along with all of the other loot that we had. I didn't have a massive amount of the loot that I've been getting from the boss because I've just been having to sell it as we go. In those 300 kills, we managed to make 66 mil. We used 17.7 mil, which I'm just going to round up to 18 mil. That actually means that we profited 48 mil. And without the Tumacan Shadow in the bank, we're currently sat at 95.9 mil. I think now that we have a decent base mount we are gonna go and complete the desert treasure 2 quest i have a lot of requirements a lot of skills and also a lot of pre-quests that i need to complete we need to get level 60 rune crafting we have all of our rune pouches now we have 28,000 dale essence 
it's time to start this grind. If I wasn't streaming right now, I would have completely forgotten about this ring. Apparently, it's four ticks faster to use this. The Ring of Dueling, you have to swap every eight charges. With this one, I can just teleport thousands and thousands of times. I am by no means a skiller, but I am managing to get about 75k XP an hour right now at level 42 runecrafting. We started at level 30, and we're already level 42. I would say that is pretty good. 75k XP an hour. We're going to be smashing through these levels and it's all thanks to this lovely devil essence 50 rune crafting has been achieved hopefully now we have the large pouch this number might go up a little bit maybe we'll get to 80k this has taken me three hours and 50 minutes but we finally managed to get it 60 rune crafting has been achieved we now have all of the rune crafting levels that we need for all of the quests and pre-quests for desert treasure 2 one day of membership remains 11.4 mil for a bonds this is why we we desperately needed to get ourselves that ACB. Bought for 11 mil, and we have another two weeks of membership. The bank is now sat at a healthy 85 mil. We have 14 days of fresh membership, and a whole bunch of new money makers await us.